Hi guys! This is Jane Del Joy Laviano and I'm also known as Jane Del Laquindo sa TikTok. Ito yung TikTok account ko. Ayan, all my contents are about books. Halata natin sa likod ko <laughs> about books. So yun, ay papakita ko muna sa ngayon ay yung mga TBRs ko and the haul that I did for this month. <laughs> so yun. These are my July TBR guys. So, ayan, isa-isa yun natin na ano, kilala na yung mga TBR books ko. First, I'll show you 06 stories. Una yung Lala Laitera. For me, first chapter pa lang, masaya siya. Ay, papaano. And then, the same time, nag-inis ako sa character na si Lala. Kasi, ayun nga, masyado siya ng Laitera. Sa lahat ng tao na kakilala niya talaga, or kahit sino, nilalait niya. So, yun. Second is this, The Ten Year Gap. Hindi ko pa sure masyado kung paano yung flow nitong story, but, ayun. Nakikita ko naman sa mga comments ng iba na it talks about a young girl falling in love with someone older than her by 10 years. Obviously, nasa cover na din siya. <laughs> the 10 year gap. Next is The Day She Said Goodnight. Isa ito sa heartbreaking stories daw. Almost every story naman yung Ozik heartbreaking. Pero, ito nga. Parang iba yung epekto nito. So, excited din akong ano, basahin to at excited na din ata akong maiyak. <laughs> Next is That From The Girl. Uh, nakalimutan ko na yung flow nitong story. Although kahit hindi ko siya nababasa, parang na-spoil ako sa iba. Kasi sabi nila maganda din to and worth it din naman daw basahin. So, yun. I hope ma-hype ako dito sa mga stories niya. And lastly, another, the tenure gap. Uh, this is a manga illustration. Ayan. Ayoko unahin tong basahin. Mas gusto ko pang basahin muna yung text version para may compare ko siya kung may naiba pa yung nandito sa manga version or ano, wala naman doon sa ano, uh, text version ng The Ten Year Gap. So, yun. Next books that I'm gonna show you are these international books by the book recommended for you, Wandering Stars. And also, I'm gonna talk about Today, Tonight, Tomorrow and yung ano, People We Meet on Vacation. So, first, we have by the book. Um, hindi ko pa napabasa totally itong story. Kahit yung verb pa lang, hindi ko binasa pero kinuha ko yung ano, book. So, by the book is written by Amanda Silay. Silay Silet. Wala, binaboy ko yung pangalan. <laughs> mm, ano, sorry. So, yun. By the book, ayan, kinuha ko siya kasi nagandahan nga ako sa cover. It's simple and it's pretty, pero ayun nga. Sana, Sana mga ano yung expectation ko dito kasi, ayun. Nagandaan kasi sa cover kaya binili eh. Bad. <laughs> At pinapasok ko yung reviews muna nito. Next one is recommended for you. So, recommended for you is written by Laura uh, Silverman. Laura Silverman. And may nabasa na ako dito at least two chapters pa lang. So, this story focuses on two employees. Pero unahin muna natin ipakilala itong first employee which is si Shoshana. So, nagtatrabaho ko si siya sa isang uh, books, ano, books, eh? bookshop. Hmm, nabubulol pa ako. <laughs> bookshop, which is months upon. Yun yung name ng, ano, bookshop na tinatrabahoan niya. And then, doon kasi sa, ano na yun, sa store na yun, uh, parang siya yung one of the best employees kasi ang galing niya mag-recommend ng mga stories sa mga customers nila. And then, next one is that, we have Jake Kaplan. This is a new employee sa kanilang ano, shop. Kasi sumakto siya nagtrabaho when there was a big sale, which is parang Christmas sale. Yung ano, naging starting point nila na magkakilala. And then yun. Dahil nga sa ano, bago siya, and in the same time, parang ang pangit kasi minsan ang dating niya. Like, he was acting like a jerk and such. And then, inamin niya na hindi siya mahilig magbasa. Mababasa lang siya kung kailan may school purposes. Which infuriates Shoshana kasi napaka-certified bookworm niya. And then, sinasabi niya, ba't hindi ka magbabasa eh? Ay, mali para. Bakit ka magbabasa ka kung for fun lang? Eh, baliktad ata. <laughs> Bakit ka magbabasa for school purposes? Hindi ba pwede na magbasa ka for fun? Parang ganun yung gusto niya iparating. Kaya lang, ayun nga, against pa rin si Jake kasi nga for school purposes pa rin yung ano niya yung pinagtutuunan niya sa pagbabasa. So, parang ang mangyayari na dito, as days pass by, parang ganun yung magiging pag-aaway nila na ito si Shoshana, gagawin ang lahat para siguro 
um, kulitin siya na, na magbasa ng libro for fun and not for school purposes only. Pero, um, no offense guys, this is like my opinion. Ayan. Alam ko hindi ko pa siya totally na nababasa, pero ano, ayun nga. This is only my opinion and I hope it won't uh, hurt or offend anybody about this book. Kasi medyo sensitive din siya sa first part lang, sa first part. Kasi, ayun nga, ginudge kasi agad ng babae yung guy for not reading books. Para lang kasi sa school purposes or he actually hates books. Parang ganun kasi yung ano, yung anger niya doon sa lalaki. Kasi parang siya a total bookworm na kung saan obsessed siya sa, pagba sa pagbabasa and in the same time, parang ano, parang ayaw niya sa mga tao na nagbabasa lang just for academic purposes only. Parang gusto niya kasi yung mga tao, kung magbabasa man sila, dapat for fun din, hindi lang for school purposes. And lastly, Wandering Star, this is the second book of my favorite sci-fi story, which is The Zodiac. So, again, Wandering Star, this is the second book. So, uh, the Zodiac series talks about um, Zodiacs. And in every Zodiac, parang may sariling houses sila, like House Ares, House Scorpio, House Cancer, House Virgo, and so on and so forth. And then, there, ano, there is a part in this book, ayan, yung be, <laughs> Beware of the 13th Sign. So, expected na there is another house in this story, which is napakilala lang din sa first book, ayun. At least 13 houses yung meron nun, pero yung 13th house is a forbidden house, ganun. And this circulates around a story of somewhat adventurers and leaders. First is Roma Grace. She is a young Zodai. Zodai meaning uh, knights. And maliban sa pagiging knight niya, napapractice din siya sa pagbabasa ng stars. However, when she reads stars, um, napaka-unique ng power niya. Like, she can actually predict something possible talaga na mangyayari. So, yun. I'm not gonna go on to deeper details. Baka kasi may spoil kayo sa akin. Pero this story is totally worth it. Ayan, ang dami ko na ding tabs dito. Ibig sabihin talaga na-enjoy ko siya. And I couldn't show you the first book kasi nasa taas ng bookshelf ko. Pero some other time, papakita ko sa inyo. After na lang siguro ng next ano ko, vlog ko. So, yun. Wandering Star is written by Rom Romina Russell. You can also have this in ebook, almost every international books naman pwede nyo kuhanin by ebook. Para hindi tayo masyadong pagastos just to buy books. So, yun. Highly recommended you can read this in ebook. Next story is Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by uh, Rachelin Solomon. Binasa mo tong story na to kasi, ayun, naintays ako doon sa sinabi ni uh, Bella Reads, or also known as Bella, or also known as Sugar Bella sa TikTok. This is her account. So, yun. Sa, ako na, sa kanya ko nalaman, <laughs> sa kanya niya ako nalaman itong story na to, yung Today, Tonight, Tomorrow. And, nung binasa ko na siya, first, ano pa lang, first chapter pa lang, kuhang-kuha na agad yung attention ko dun. So, this story tackles about a, uh, and we still, ano, lovers kind of story, pero academic, academic yung ano, yung enemies to lovers na to. Kasi, this story, uh, nag-start sa school. Yung setting kasi is the school talaga, yung ano, yung simula ng story. And then, we have these two main characters, Rowan Roth and Neil McNair. So, they've been enemies since like, 7th grade? Or, since the ano, start of their high school life. Ayan, enemies na sila. And then, they were always competing to each other hanggang sa my favorite part ako doon sa story na <laughs> hindi makamove on si Rowan. Hindi mo na yung sasabihin kung anong part yun, pero malalaman nyo na din siguro kapag binasa nyo na din tong story. This is a must-read story. This is a young adult uh, contemporary romance story. And I swear, ano kayo talaga, mau-hook up kayo dito sa, ano, dito sa story na to. Totally. First chapter pa lang, mm, kuha-kuha na agad. May iin na bagad kayo. Kasi ang sweet pa lang kahit akala mo ano, akala mo may something kasi nga nag-aaway nga sila, pero Arr! Basta yun! <laughs> Arr! <laughs> Hindi ko ma-explain na maayos, alam! <laughs> Pero yun nga, promise, worth it na basahin. Malay nyo, ba? 
recommend din to sa mga friends yung kasi this this masterpiece of Rachel and Solomon is the best. One of the best international stories of contemporary romance na nabasa ko. <laughs> Next we have people we meet on vacation. Ayan. Uh, this story uh, revolves around two friends. Parang naging ano, setting nitong story is friends to lovers. So we have uh, Poppy and Alex. So they've been friends since uh, years. Hang on. And then, ayun nga, mostly yung setting nila is on vacation. Ayan, may flashbacks ng mga vacations nila. And then, babalik ulit sa present na vacation nila. Uh, there are parts that I don't like in this story, but mostly I love this um, this piece. Um, ang hindi ko nang gusto dito sa part na to is that the conversation that they have, minsan napakalali, minsan hindi ko talaga magets. Siguro may problema lang sa reading comprehension ko. <laughs> Ayun nga, um, under conversation kasi medyo malalim yung tinatakol nila. Hindi naman sobrang lalim na may tinanama sa politics or whatsoever. Parang kasi, ito kasi si Alex, he's a English teacher. Tapos, every time na nagkakaroon sila ng conversation, it happens to, ano, complicate. Nagko-complicate siya kasi, ayun nga, parang, ano ba, wala ka sa school, pero bakit ang complicated mo magsalita? <laughs> Ganun yung dating. But all in all, yung mga actions na nababasa ko dito sa story, friends, friends, French kiss, Arr! Bakit friends? <laughs> Ayan, super worth it naman doon sa akin. And malapit ka ng banda doon siya matapos. So, yun. Kakaroon ako ng book review on this some other time. And then, that's it guys sa mga July TBR ko. Next, I will show you my July haul. Actually, may mga iba pang dadating. But, I'll show you the, ano, the temporary books na meron pa dito sa akin. Na nabuksan ko na, inalagyan ko na ng cover. So these are my July book hauls. So these are the books. Meron pang iba. <laughs> Wait lang. And even these are my July. Ayan. These are my July book hauls. So yun. <laughs> Alam na ako pwes to wait lang. <laughs> First book July haul is my epic break. My epic spring breakup. My epic breakup. <laughs> My epic spring breakup, and it is written by Christine Rockaway. Christine Rockaway. So, kinuha ko tong story na to kasi, ayun, naganda na ako sa cover. <laughs> Nabase na naman ako sa ganda ng cover. And then, I feel like na makaka-relate ako dito. Or kahit sino naman makaka-relate dito na may epic breakup. So, yun. Sabay-sabay tayo na makaka-relate dito sa story na to. <laughs> you can download this by ebook siguro. May ano naman to. May copy naman to by ebook. Like VK or yung ano, Z Library, pwede nyo din naman gamitin na pagdadownoodan ng mga ebook stories. Second book we have, Our Year of Maybe. This is written again by Rachel Lynn Solomon. So again, Rachel Lynn Solomon is the author of Today, Tonight, Tomorrow. So kumuha ko ng another ano, copy ng story niya, which is this one, Our Year of Maybe. Minasa ko yung first line nito and na in love ako. So excited akong basahin. This is the excerpt. First line nang first line. Peter and the piano belong to each other. The way I always wanted him to belong to me. Oh my god! Okay, na love na naman. <laughs> so, yun. Excited na din ang basahin to. Our Year of Maybe by Rachel Lynn Solomon. Next, we have Yes, No, Maybe So. Yes, No, Maybe So. Ayun, malabas to sa TikTok dati. Uh, ayun. Uh, kita ko ng mga reviews nila dito sa store na to. Maganda naman siya, pero mostly yung nakikita ko is 4 over 5. So, yun. Kumuha pa rin ako ng copy ko kasi, ayun nga, um, na-entice ako doon sa mga reviews nila. So, I'm gonna read this soon. Maybe next month, babasahin ko na siya. Next one is Meet You in the Middle. So, Meet You in the Middle was reviewed by Bella. Ayan, may tagit ka na naman si Bella. Bella! Ayan. Nag-review ni Bella itong Meet You in the Middle sa TikTok. Ewan ko lang kung nag-review niya din dito sa YouTube channel niya. Uh, I forgot the name of her YouTube channel. Ilagay ko na lang sa ending. So, yun. 
Meet you in the middle. Ni-review ni, ano, ni Bella ito. And maganda daw siya. So, naghanap ako ng copy nito. Kung meron mga physical copy. And I found it at, ano, Lazada. Uh, Lazada Fully Book. So, yun. Kinuha ko agad yung copy. Another review ni Bella is Kisses and Results. Ni-review niya din to sa TikTok account niya. And then, yun. Ang cute din ng cover. And, yung pagkaka-review niya dito is somewhat sweet. Yung, ano, yung naging takpo ng review. So, yun. Kinuha ko din yung copy nito. Once na nakita ko siya doon sa Fully Book sa Lazada. So, yun. Kisses and Results. It is written by Anne-Sophie Johanyu. I forgot how to, ano, pronounce her name. Pero, ayan. Hindi ko binababa yung pangalan na. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So, this is the name of the author. So, Kisses and Results by and Sophie. Next one, ayan, we can keep meeting like this. Again, it is a story written by Rachel in Solomon. Oh, ayan. Favorite ko na ano si Rachel in Solomon. <laughs> Kaya kumuha na naman ako ng other book niya, which is ito. We can keep meeting like this. Ang ganda nito yung ano, book. Although, kahit tanggalin ko yung ano niya, dust jacket. Ayan. Napakasimple lang. Purple. Pero ang cute, promise. And mabango. Amoy pagkain. <laughs> kung ano yung, kung gaano nakakatakam tong ano, itong cover, ganun din yung libro. Kasi, ang bango. Amoy pagkain. <laughs> and then, this is the ano, ayan, yung title niya. We can keep meeting like this by Rachel in Salawad. This is a stand-alone story, guys. Kaya, hindi kayo mahirapan na kumuha ng other copies kasi, ayun yun. Nag-iisang story lang naman siya. Wala siyang mga prequel, wala siyang mga sequels, ganun. Wala siyang pag-duology or by series. Yan. Ang redundant na pala ng sinabi ko. <laughs> Next one is I got this. The Girl Least Likely by Katie... <laughs> Iskip na natin yung ano. Last name. Ayaw kong babuyin yung pangalan. <laughs> so, written by Katie. Katie or Katie? Ayun. The girl, least likely. Uh, bago lang ito sa fully book. And I think, ayun nga. This is a new story talaga. So, kinuha ko yung copy nito kasi hindi lang sa nagustuhan ko sa yung cover, na based mo sa cover. Parang ano, ayun, na, ano, napansin ko din ng par my transformation something na nangyari. So, kinuha ko na yung copy nito kasi parang Ah, maganda siya. And then, may palab triangle pa kasi na ano, na something na mangyayari. So, yun. Maybe my favorite tropes are actually enemies to lovers, then the love triangle <laughs> in a story. And then, the found trope, something like that. Pero ito, ayan, parang love triangle, ano, story siya. So, yun. Excited din ako basahin to. Again, this one, pinakita ko na kanina, by the book, by... Um, Amanda Silay or Silet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kanina ko ba binababa yung pangalan niya? So, yun. Hardbound yung ano. Yung meron pa lang. Hindi ko alam kung may paperback na. Pero as of now, hardbound yung available nitong ano, story. Again, re ano, recommended for you. Ayan, may mga ano, book tabs na ako. Sa gilid. Kadikit na kasi. And it is written by Oops. Laura Silverman. Laura Silverman. Recommended for you. You can also download this through ano din, ebook. Para hindi tayo mapagastos masyado. If interested nyo kayo magbasa, you can, ano, try yung mga ebook versions. Kasi wala namang pinagkaiba yung nasa ebook and then yung nasa book version. Same na same lang siya. Another one is this, Much Ado About You. Um, binasa ko yung blurb and it's kinda interesting. This is a new adult story. So, yun. <laughs> yun. Alam, biglang napahibig. So, let's read even just one line in this story. I had not gone on a date in two years. Wow. <laughs> ano ba yan? <laughs> Nakakabitter yung sinabi niya. Just hurt. Pain. Next one is the Inheritance Games. 
I got this book kasi sa review ni Ikay Accounts. Ay, Ikay Hates... Ano? Ikay Hate Account. Yun ating name niya doon sa ano, TikTok. So, this is her ano pala. Her account. Ayan. Sa, ano, sa kanya ako nakuha yung idea or itong book. Kasi binigyan niya ito ng magandang review and ayun nga, na-entice ako doon. And nung dumating to, chinek ko agad yung first line and gosh, nakaka-ano, nakaka-attract na attention. So this is the first line, this is how it goes. When I was a kid, my mom ko- Again? <laughs> Ulit. When I was a kid, my mom constantly invented games. When I was a kid, my mom constantly invented games. Diba? Oh my gosh! Bet. <laughs> the Inheritance Game by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. The Inheritance Games Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Let the games begin. <laughs> so, yun. Another one is Don't Hate the Player. Ewan ko, parang ang nabibigay na vibe nitong story sa akin is like any pop fiction vibe. I mean, um, it's not a bad thing. Pero parang ganun kasi yung dating. Like, do you know yung story ni Blue Maiden na ano, don't hate the, ano, the bad boy or don't break the bad boy's heart? It's somewhat similar to this. Or kung hindi yan yung ano ito, I'm in love with the Dota player. Something ganun. Ganun yung vibe na pinapakita nitong Don't Hate the Player. And it is written by Alexis Need. Alexis Need. So, yun. Another trending story, we have this. Instructions for Dancing. So, napanood ko yung ano, ni video, yung video ni Altea, yung video ni Lily, or Ate Lily. Ayan. And then, other book talkers. Ayan, ng mga friends ko. Ito ang nakikita ko. And then, ito din naman naman sa FYP page ko. And this is a must read nga daw. Kasi, ang ganda ng story. And then, naalala ko sa isa sa mga, ano, sinabi ni Altea about this story is that, ayun niya, may binigay sa babae daw na isang book. And the title of the book is Instructions for Dancing. And then, yun. Huwag na natin masyadid dig in kasi hindi ko pa din napapasa so wala akong masyadong masasabi din kaya yun. But if you want to know more about the review nitong story, please follow this account or please check this account kasi nandoon yung review niya about instructions for dancing. Another one is Paris is always a good idea. Awan ko pero ang cute kasi ng cover. <laughs> Kinuha ko na naman siya kasi ang cute ng cover. So, ayan. And then, kapag ginaganito ka pa si siya, ayan. It's so floppy. Char, wag natin sirain yung libro. So, the first line nito, hindi ko pa nakikita yung first line, pero check natin. So, the first line goes like this. I'm getting married. <laughs> That's the first line ng book. I'm getting married. So, oh my gosh. There's something, something. Diba? So, yun. Ang dami pa pala. <laughs> Next, we have this. The Kindred Spirits Supper Club. Mm, hindi ko alam kung bakit ko kinuha to. Hindi ko alam kung dahil lang ba sa cover or ayun na naman, hindi naman ako nagbabasa ng reviews kasi or pero yun. It's kind of cute. Diba? And it is re uh, no, recent. <laughs> it is written by Ami E. Um, ayan, kay Ami E. <laughs> Huwag na natin anuhin yung last name. Baka babuyin ko lang. <laughs> Nakakaya. So, yun. This is the author and the title again, The Kindred Spirits Suffer Club. Chloe. Next, we have this one. How to fail at flirting. Ewan ko ba, pero parang ang ganda nitong story. Like, alam mo yung vibe na marupok ka, pero takot ka sa commitment. <laughs> Thank you, Shaq. <laughs> parang, parang ganun yung dating nitong story. So, I find it interesting. Kaya binili ko siya. Binaze ko siya doon sa title. Yun yung vibe talaga na binibigay niyo sa akin. 
yung marupok ka pero ayaw mo mag-commit. <laughs> Next, I have this Sally Thorne. I mean, a story written by Sally Thorne and the title is Second First Impressions. Ewan ko ba, after ko kasi basahin yung acknowledgement kasi ni uh, Rachel in Salomon doon sa ano, Today, Tonight, Tomorrow, nakita ko yung name ni Sally Thorne. And then, I searched for stories na na-publish na. And then, ito yung una ko nakita. Second first impression. So, ayun. Pero gusto ko din makuha yung ano, yung The Hating Game ata siya ata yung nagsulat. So, ayun. Ito muna papasahin ko before The Hating Game. Next, we have this. One of the viral stories ever sa TikTok. Hinding-hindi nawawala to. Red, white, and royal blue. Um, ang dami yung mga booktokers na nag-ano nito, review nito, and super worth it daw basahin. And, maliban lang dito, may isa pa siyang, ano, worth it na story. Uh, this story is on LGBTQ community. And this would be one of the stories din na mababasa ko about LGBTQ kasi hindi ako mahilig eh. Pero, ito talaga. Dahil, nabubudol din ako sa TikTok and ito madalas lumalabas. Kaya, humuha na ako ng copy. Another one na, ano, na sinulat nitong same author na si Casey McQuinston. Ayan. Casey McQuinston. McQuinston pala. Ang <laughs> nilababoy ko na naman yung pangalan. So, we have these two stories. This story is on, ano, boys love. And this story focuses on girls love. So, yun. Awan ko ba, again, hindi ako mahilig sa mga LGBTQ stories. Pero, since, ito nga, uh, sika siya sa TikTok, kung huwag ko ng ano niya, copy niya, and even this one. But, hindi ko na maisa-isa yung mga booktower friends ko na nag-review nito, pero, super worth it daw to, nabasahin. So, yeah. I'm excited to read it again. Another one is this, uh, hindi ito lumalabas sa, ano, TikTok. Hindi pa siya, ano, napag-uusapan. Pero, I think I'll be the first one. Ay! Feeling! <laughs> So, yun. You say it first. You say it first. Verse. You say it first by Katie Kotugno. Katie Kotugno. Here's the author of this story. Uh, nakuha ko to sa National Bookstore. Uh, ginamit kong ano, application dito is Shopee. So, yun. Shopee National Bookstore. You say it first by Katie Kotugno. Oh, tama. Kitty ko tugno. And then, we have this one. Dating plan. I mean, the dating plan. This is, ano, this is, <laughs> this is written by Sarah Desai. Ayan. Ay, oh my gosh. Sarah Desai. The dating plan. Ang ganda din ng cover niya. And this kind of give me the, ano, vibe na pretend. Kind of story. Pretend, uh, lovers, then ayun, may mga pa-contract-contract pa yung meron dito, so ewan ko lang kung ganun talaga din yung flow na story pero yan yung vibe na nakukuha ko dito sa cover pa lang medyo, ano parang mapifilm mo na expected pero wala yun yun, diba? may something unexpected na mangyari dito sa story na to, so yun The Dating Plan by Sarah Desay and I got this from Fully Book sa ano, sa Shopee sa Shopee ko siya na-order. Next books that we would have is the Graceling series. So, yan. Graceling series are written by Christine Cashore. So, yun. This gives me the kind of fairy stories, fairy vibe, and para siyang elemental. So, first we have this. First book is Graceling. Ayan. Second book is Fire. Ang cute ng ano niya, cover. So, this is the second book. Third book is Bitter Blue. Ang hirap dito hanapin, guys, sa totoo lang. Pero, nang nag-search ako doon sa Fully Book, sa Lazada, lumabas to. Naging, ano siya, on stock. Kaya, dali ko lang kinuha kasi ang hirap nitong kunin. <laughs> ang hirap, guys, promise. And lastly, Winter Keep. This is the final book ng Graceling series. So, Winter Cape by Christine Cashore. Again, the last book. 
And then we have this. I unboxed ko pa siya. But I know what these books are. So again, unbox with me. Ano unexpected yung unboxing? You'll Miss Me When I'm Gone by Rachel and Solomon. Again, another story ni Rachel and Solomon. May copy na naman ako. The only books that I don't have na lang ay yung The X Talk and yung ano, The Weather Girl. Yun yung two books na lang na wala ako sa kanya. Kasi kaka-release lang din ang story na yun. Next package that I will unbox is this one. These books are ano from um, Books From Us. Kaya lang, nagsisisi ako nung binili ko to. Hindi ko nakuha yung ano, Sorcery of Torrance! Ayun! Hardcover pa siya. Ayun. Ang ganda ng deal. Mura. Kaya lang hindi ko talaga kinuha. Nasisisi ako. Pero ito, unbox na natin to. These are the books that I got from Books From Us. And then, my freebies pa ako. Na two book, ano, two bookmarks. And then, here is the books that I got. Uh, Set Fire to the Gods by Kristen C uh, Simons and Sarah Rush. Ayan yung ano, name ng authors. And this is the title, Set Fire to the Gods. Another one is this one. The Midnight Library. Ang tagal ko nang gusto makahat, ano, makakuha ng copy na to. And then, nakanap ko siya sa Books From Us. Mas mura siya. And, ayun. Kaya lang, nasa around 1,000 plus, 1,000 one, one, yung bili ko dito. Pero unlike sa others, medyo mahal siya. Mas pricey. But this one, ako ako sa kanila. And then, lastly, Star Daughter. Buti na lang may mga excess copy sila nito, Star Daughter. Kaya, ayan. Ito na yung kinuha ko. Uh, Star Daughter is written by... Oh my gosh, nahulog yung mga libro. Pain. So, this is the author's name. Ayan, hindi ko nababanggitin at baka mababoy ko pa yung pangalan niya. <laughs> so, this is my final July book haul. So, yun naman guys ang book haul ko for July and even my TBR ay nakita nyo na rin. And at least 29 books ang na book haul ko. Ayan, actually meron pa pero huwag na natin ano, bilangin na yun. Kasi hindi ko naman na napakita. So, yun. That's all guys. Please subscribe and like this video for more kasi may other books pa ako or other uh, book recommendations din ako gagawin dito sa ano, YouTube channel ko. So yun, bye bye